Welcome to the Developing OutSystems Mobile Apps course introduction. In this session, we'd like to introduce the Developing OutSystems Mobile Application course. This course covers the fundamentals of developing with OutSystems 10 and has a focus on the mobile app development. At the end of this course, you'll have all the basic skills and hands-on experience necessary to build mobile apps with OutSystems. Now, previous versions of OutSystems allowed us to build web applications, and those web applications had different types of screens that can make synchronous calls to server-side logic. Those could access different types of data, and we could update the screen with AJAX to reduce the amount of information being sent back and forth. Inside of OutSystems 10, there's a brand new set of capabilities that allows us to build mobile applications. These mobile apps will be able to be installed and run on the device, and some of that logic will be able to do things on the device and only call the server and get more data as needed. So some of that data will be stored in databases, but some of it can be stored locally on the device. And we'll be able to make asynchronous calls and fetch that information as needed. Besides getting information more efficiently, the screen will be able to dynamically react to the changes in the data, and the device will be able to do a lot of that work on its own. So we have a new style of application and a new type of development. As far as the course goes, we've divided up the new materials into a number of different sections. Each section will have some presentations and some exercises in it. The presentation will cover all of the concepts and theories about a given topic, and then the exercises will provide the hands-on experience of using those concepts while trying to build key components and parts of the application. We'll be building up an application along the way as we're working through the exercises. At the very end of the course, there's a separate project assignment in which we'll build up a new app from a set of detailed requirements and designs. So what are the topics that we're going to be covering in this course? We'll do an overview of OutSystems 10. We'll talk about the development environment, which is also called Service Studio. And then we'll look at the structure of applications in OutSystems. After that, we'll start digging into the details of development. How do we create and control data inside of OutSystems? How do we retrieve it? And once we have the data that we need, how can we store it on the device? We'll also discuss mobile design considerations that we need to take into account when building these new types of mobile apps. And then we'll look at the user interface. Silk UI is a set of capabilities that helps us build user interfaces very quickly. So we'll do an overview on the parts of Silk UI and what it provides to help us build things faster. Then we'll look into the Silk UI themes, which help provide the overall look and feel of our app and give us a basic framework for building the app itself. Then we'll review the programming model and look at some of the mobile widgets that help us to build up the pages from smaller components. Then we'll take some time to look at how to generate the mobile app so that we can install it on our phone or make it available in an app store. From there, we'll begin taking into account offline capabilities. To get things offline, we need to be able to store information locally on the device itself. So we'll look at how local storage is handled and the capabilities that OutSystems gives us to make implementing the different types of offline scenarios a little bit easier. Then we'll review debugging, which includes both debugging on the client and server side. And we'll also talk a little bit more about some of the tools that allow us to debug on the client side. We'll then look at some of the reusable components, especially reusable interface blocks and how those blocks can share information by using events. We'll then look at a number of different mobile patterns that are useful when we're building mobile apps. And we'll look at the different types of charts that we have in case we need to display data in a more interesting and graphical format. We'll talk about the plugins that give us access to the device's sensors and the device's other native capabilities. And then at the end, we'll go back and talk a little bit more about the different types of data that might be offline and some of the scenarios that our applications may need to address. 
we'll see how different data synchronization patterns can be used to address those types of situations. And at the very end, we'll introduce our final project that we can work on to further exercise these new concepts. And that project will be building up a movies app. So as we're going through all of these topics and working on a set of exercises, these exercises will actually build up a to-do application that can track things that we'd like to accomplish. That to-do application will have a list of to-dos which we can prioritize and we can decide if they're special or important. We'll also make sure that this application can detect when it's online or offline and be able to handle offline scenarios so our users can continue working with the app even when they are offline. And then as we create to-dos, we may want to add more information and maybe even take a picture of something that we need to remember for our next to-do. This will require us to be able to use a plugin and integrate the camera and other native capabilities in the device. So we'll be using many of the cool features while building up the to-do app and the to-do app will be the first app that we work on. Then we're going to build an app for our project and it's going to be the Movies app. The Movies app will display information about a particular movie and we'll be able to look up which cinema the movie is available in. The movie can then display information about the cast that was in the movie and we'll also add the ability to make comments about the movie so that people can share their opinions. So we're going to learn a lot during this course while building the to-do application in our exercises and then working on this movie app as a project. So there's lots of interesting things to do. So join me in the next section where we begin learning more and starting to create these cool apps.